so we were in a little bit of trouble. But with the army, there's always a hidden agenda. Even though Sadaristan was officially neutral, military intelligence was suspicious and dying to get a closer look. The four of us, already officially AWOL, just happened to fit the bill. Instead of sending us to prison, they gave us an offer that, you know. So, explain this one more time. First, they're angry with us for going into Sadaristan, but then they send us back in. They want us to find Zavomir Sadar. Zavomir, sir, did you say? Zavomir Sadar, father of the people, local dictator and all-around creep. Officially, he's neutral, but he's been playing both sides in the war for a very long time. Maybe his luck ran out. Anyway, we're here to persuade him to come in with us, all undercover style. So, now we can go in and, and no one's gonna mind. Officially, the army's got nothing to do with this. If anyone catches us, we're still AWOL. Now, let's find that observation point. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. You back with me, Sergeant? Over. Yeah. We've got a little sidetrack, though. Over. An objective of your own? Over. Yep. Didn't pay off, though. Over. You pull this one off, you can start thinking about that fishing trip again. Over. So I've heard. Out. Is that a golf course? Of course it's a golf course. That's what dictators do. Build things they really don't need while their people starve. Hey, there's our chopper. He's flying really close to those bases, though. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. Officially, they're on a search and retrieve mission. The Daristan guys won't touch it. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit. Oh, shit! Shit! Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Looks like these guys ain't neutral anymore. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We know, we know. Now get moving and find Sadar and- Yeah, but how do we get him out without an extraction bird? Over. I was getting to that. There are three enemy SAM sites. You take those out, you'll get your extraction chopper. Eventually. Roger, out. Okay, there's the first one.
пойдем. Открыть огонь! Infantry approaching. Way to go. One down. Keep shooting! Got him! There's a second launcher. Some red. What are those? Some kind of Russian secret weapon type vehicle? Yeah, cutting edge technology, good. Damn it. Cool! Because they kind of look like golf carts, sweat water. Hey, you're coming, Get down! Man, 
driving tanks on a golf course. You put that in the army brochure, enlistment would skyrocket. I mean, forget jumping out of planes and brothers in arms. You just show them driving a tank on a golf course, that's all they'd need. Incoming RPG! There's the last one. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie, over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Okay, all three SAM launches are out, but this operation isn't exactly covert anymore, over. You're doing good work, Sergeant. I'm not authorized to give you helicopter support at this time, but I'm dropping off a surprise that's gonna make your lives a little bit easier. Make your way to the drop zone ASAP, over. Affirmative, we're Oscar Mike to the drop zone, out. A big ugly flashlight. She drops a big ugly flashlight. Why did she drop this? It's a laser designator, meathead. You use it to guide in airstrikes.
Heads up! Hostile tank! Marlo, use that laser designator. Let's see what kind of air support we've got. Holy mother of a cow! Now I feel a itsy bitsy stupid for calling it a big ugly flashlight. Squad, regroup! Bravo one, Charlie. This is Mike one, Juliet. Looks like you've stirred up a hornet's nest. We're seeing a whole lot of activity around the palace. Over. We're not exactly equipped for all-out war here. Over. There's a supply station close to your current location. I'm uploading the coordinates. Get over there and stock up. Over. Affirmative. Out. You heard her. Let's go shop. We're here. Take a look and see if you can find anything useful. We're moving on to the palace ASAP. Can I drive while these? No, I promise I won't scratch. I think my insurance will cover me. I need you on those guns, Haggard. Marlo, you're the designated driver. Think you can handle that? Spotted. 
guys! Go cross by foot. Ooh, it's pretty high. Good thing I don't have a problem with heights, because that would, you know, be a problem. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down.
Machine gun, take cover! I need to get fire, drink water! I think it's the president. What's he saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it sounds like he's asking for help. What kind of help? I don't know. I, I think he's locked himself inside the safe room, and he can't get out. We'll get him out of there. Let's find him. Come on. Wow! This is an actual palace! It's like, a uh, um... Versailles? No. Buckingham Palace? No! Disneyland? What's it called? Xanadu. Enemy coming in! Ah, oh, crap! Those are mercs! Yeah, you are the animal! Oh, shit! Let me go. 
over here! Open! Fresh mojam, you. How did you murder two pull out here? Bridge, bin peel list in piggy. Bish one yard, watch me yard. Uh, he, he thinks we're not being nice. Something about an enema, I think. Uh, and he doesn't want to come. Oh, uh, he done pissed me off. What you. Uh, somebody translate this for me. What you really want isn't the question here. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Presidentia. Um, yeah, Excellentia. Let me try. Your Excellency, Mr. Uh, President's call? Haggard, no. You don't, you don't speak, sir. To shut up. Yeah, yeah. I am in no need of witless translation. My English is wholly immaculate, Macron. Well, then you'll have no problem understanding this. We have come to bring you in. Bring you in? Just you? Just us. <laughs> Four puny military. Four puny military. Damn it, Haggard. Four puny military is no invasion. He's trespassing. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We have the package. Repeat, we have the package. Request immediate extraction. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Leave the package. Repeat, leave the package. And you're not going to like this, Sergeant, but extraction is denied. Over. Denied? What do we have to do to get the bird here? Over? I hate to tell you this, boys, but it's not gonna happen. We're going for deniability. You're on your own. Over. What do you mean we're on our own? How do we get out? Over? Any way you can. This isn't my call, boys. There's nothing I can do. They're telling me to cut you loose. I'm sorry. Out. So it's like that, then. Fellas, they're leaving us hanging out to dry. Ah, shit. Now we're never getting out of here. I may have means for our escape. Our escape? I'm afraid the father of Sedarishtan people now has no other recourse than exile. It was a mistake to request the services of these mercenaries. Hang on a minute. The Legionnaire is holding you here? Well, since I could not deliver the amount of gold he requested, he has appropriated my nation. But I will prevail. The Sadaristan people will rise up and demand the return of their beloved father. This guy's funny when he's in a hallucinogenic rage. And what's more, he may come in handy. Yeah, right, like tits on a bull. Well, just sit up already and tell us how to get out of here. Now, this is stately transportation for VIP. Quite improper for your unhygienic smelly bum bums. Well, what about the unhygienic decor? I mean, is that a mirror ball? Although I have to confess, a hot tub is a very nice touch. Now, let me see how you fly this. Hold on. Get out of that seat. No fun. Preston, show us your stuff. Preston, you the man. I'll give it a shot. So, there we were. Crammed in a pimped out Russian hind with a megalomaniac and a rack full of bad CDs. Left to die by our superiors and with the world's deadliest army using us for target practice. It wasn't the first time I'd flown a chopper, but the circumstances were sort of special.